Hey, and we're back. Uh, we got ourselves a roller, and we're doing it in the correct order this time. Yeah, that's something about the John Deere Cedar is... Um, in order to roll it, you have to roll it immediately after you plant it. If you try and put a fertilizer on something, something, uh, you're going to be stuck with that needs rolling uh, state. So we got ourselves a roller here. Oh, and we're going to be playing the same game as we did last time. It shouldn't take quite as long because I got us a six meter roller. This one here. Uh, the Gutler Medina 600 is what we're running today. Uh, six meter roller. I didn't, I don't know if I, I didn't get the transportation box. I, I didn't need it. Um, we got it on a demo. I think it is going to work for us though. Yeah. It's clearing the needs rolling state and giving us the mulched state. Uh, oh, mulched. Uh, Okay, our wheat is in fact growing. All right. We're not. It's weird, but it seems to be uh, doing what we want it to do. So I wonder if we can use this thing as a mulcher as well. Huh. I'd imagine with those big pointy spines on it, but it is clearing the needs rolling state. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how this works out. And uh, <laughs> this one here does not have the ridge markers on it. So hand driving this is going to be a little bit of a challenge because it's kind of hard to see. But uh, we'll give it a try. We'll see how she goes. And uh, I'm kind of curious if we can use this after. Because we dragged that... Um, that John Deere uh, HX20 Batwing mower through here uh, as a mulch pass. Um, I don't know if mulching actually works with precision farming or not. Again, if anybody knows for sure, if anybody got a link to a video, leave it in the description below. And uh, I want to know, I want to know how to do this a little bit more correctly. Because I feel like even though we're getting it, we're only getting about 90% of it. But uh, for now, it's, uh, it's clearing the needs rolling state. Which is fine, fine by me. I wonder if I can come in here and mow these field edges with something. I mean, it looks like it's giving a roll thing. I think we need a little bit more gear. Or a little, yeah, a little bit taller. There we go. Range four gear C. That's going to be mighty hard to see, isn't it? Minimap is of absolutely no help at all. Okay, so cool. We've done one ring around the outside.
can kind of see the line. Uh, yeah, I guess so. It's just down that one side. Okay. No, uh, we'll do it like this. Now this here is where we want to flip guidance steering on and just have at it. Now I I find this really really hard to see, so we'll just have to kind of make do if we're going to do this freehand. I suppose I should have came in here and limed this first, and I think I might do that on the next field that we try this process out on. Yeah, I'm gonna guess probably somewhere around here. I do like that, you know, this is, uh, it's a three-point attachment and it's not, uh, you're not trailing it out 50 feet behind you. It's, uh, this would be good for small fields. And it's six meters wide, so... We've pretty much got our headlands done here. It looks like I missed a pass there, doesn't it? Okay, well, next time we, uh, I'm not going to do four headlands on this. We've got, uh, we have 12 meters. You know, that's what we had with the, uh, the cedar when we did four passes. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm kind of digging this. I'm a little bit weirded out by the mulch part, but... I mean... It is growing, and it does say wheat in there, so... So, I don't know, party on, I guess. it's there. What are they saying? I'm not going to do four passes on the headlands? Um, I don't know. See if we can get a little bit of that triangle cut out, cut out of there. Yeah, this is the one that I'm concerned about because I can't really see anything here. Ah, looks like the edge there. Yeah, okay, and there's the edge there. All right.
Now, there's another section that looks like it was missed. It might be just, yeah, it's just the texture as we're coming around the corner here. All right, fine, fair enough. Okay, I kind of like this. Okay, and this will get us pretty well out of this corner, and we can just start running up and down the field, and uh, maybe we will turn guidance steering on for this. Drop us into a time lapse and uh, just rip along here. I think, okay, yeah, I think we'll run around once more, uh, at least up on the other end, give us a room, good room to spin around, we'll throw on, oh, you know what, we're almost done this thing. Yeah, I, I am kind of liking this. Okay, uh, and I took the HX20 back off of lease. Maybe we'll keep this. And because uh, if it does function as a mulcher, you know, bonus nachos. Yeah, that's plenty of room for us to turn around there. And I think that that's just not actually a miss. I think it's just the texture's a little bit wicky-wacky. Yeah. And if we do miss just a little bit, it's ain't the end of the world. At least not for this stage anyway. Uh, so yeah, so the next question, how do we put fertilizer down on this thing? and lime, for that matter. I've been looking at uh, a couple of different uh, applicators and testing them out, and I'm not really super sure how we're gonna do that. our edge. Our edge is right here. We're going to call it right there. I'm going to set this up and I think we're going to do uh, just one pass back and forth. One and one. Okay. Get our width. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, we're doing pretty good with that. All right. Is that actually our edge or are we out? I think we're out. That looks like it. Okay. And we'll just scroll lock.
Scootler Curin un Constructure I don't know what that means Uh Fjord in first, maybe? John Deere, we know what that means. <laughs> it means you're going to get screwed on <laughs> paying for repairs is what it means. Eh. I know that I don't want to offend all the John Deere fans out there. I know I know you are a legion. But uh, that, I'm kind of enjoying playing the uh, uh, the European map. It's encouraging me to learn words in new languages, and I think that's pretty cool. Uh, also, you know, that was uh, to go but jump back to truck sim. Uh, Playing Euro Truck Sim was kind of cool because, again, learn words and new languages and uh, learn a little bit more about European geography because uh, I have a very high level understanding of roughly where stuff is, but in terms of actual details, like how to get from A to B, I'm not, couldn't tell you. Okay, so we were really, yeah, yeah, we had 24 meters off there. I think we need to wash this thing, honestly. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this is, uh, we're almost done. We're almost done. I, I like this piece of kit. Oh, you know what? I just realized, uh, we have a sprayer. A sprayer that does liquid fertilizer so yeah that's kind of weird why would they give us as on the starting farm something that doesn't do lime but two things that do fertilizer that's sort of weird and uh, is there anything Hmm. There's a bunch of questions that I have. Okay, we're down to our last triangles here. And this one here, it doesn't matter if it gets double rolled. So we're just going to save ourselves a little bit of jacking around here and uh, try and run back and forth because the time that we spend... Uh, trying to do these as two separate things. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. We don't have to worry about seeds here and the extra roll won't hurt it. Yeah, anyway. So, yeah, we... We've got the sprayer. We also have the weeder. 
which seeds. I don't understand how that works either. But we're going to find out. We're learning a bunch of stuff on this one. And does this catch it for up at this end? Oh, nice. You see that as you, as it lifts, you get a little bit of uh, angular momentum keeps the uh, the roller spinning as it's coming up. Nicely done. That's uh, that's one thing I do like about this game is just they did a pretty good job on the physics. I mean, I know I make fun of it, call it neat physics and all of that, but uh, it does work pretty well. Yeah, all right, that in reality probably would have wiped out that little corner. But uh, how are we looking here? I think we're almost done here. Is it, I think it's just this little bit right here. Missed. <laughs> should have been in the should have been in the cab. Okay, what does the map say? Uh, couple little one little pass around the outside, and I think that ought to wrap her up. Yeah, I uh, I do like this roller. And if it doubles up as a mulcher, that's awesome. See if I can find that spot. I bet you it's somewhere. It's one little dot. I know. I'm being. I am being a little bit too precious about this. I think. Yeah, I'm literally right on top of it. Look out, dear. Okay, now we're good along here. Oh, no, we're not. We got a little missed spot down there. All right. Let's see if we can see it even. It might be in the grass, but I think we got it. And if we didn't, oh well. There we go. Yeah, that's their missed spots right there.
Yep, there we go. Actually, that's still plowed. Okay, so the next thing is get some uh, some lime on this and some fertilizer. And fold this up. Yeah, I like this. I'm going to keep this. If I haven't returned that John Deere uh, Batwing, then uh, I am going to return it. I'm super happy with that. And we don't need all of those lights on. Don't want to blind the neighbors. You know, I can't remember if I've taken that liquid fertilizer thing out or not. I know it has a 42 meter width. So it won't take us a long time. It won't take us much to get around that field. Uh, we'll need some liquid fertilizer though. And the question is, do we want to lime it first or do we want to liquid it first? Good questions. Yeah, we, to we sold that, uh, that solid fertilizer spreader. Uh, yep. Put that tuck in there. Not quite. I like that a lot. Okay. going to, uh, yeah, we're going to buy that. Yep, that looks good. That looks good. Uh, yeah, we can see how's our field 48 needs rolling. Yeah, that's because uh, we put the fertilizer down, blah, blah, blah. And now I go, if I go up there with a roller, it just won't do anything. All right. Uh, so. Okay, so let's uh, park this thing here. And, uh, oh, let's check the sale just to see if there's anything cool on sale. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. But we already have a mulcher. That's really nice though, six meters. But you know what? That one that we were just playing with it, if it does in fact function as a, no, <laughs> no. Well, I mean, that'll pull the subsoiler around. <laughs> That's, I think that's way more tractor than we need. And this is, uh, takes what? Slurry and digestate or digestate and something else. Nice. Um, okay, that's kind of an annoying our automation or animation. Nice, don't eat it. Okay, so. Uh, oh, we should check on the cows. How are the cows doing? Uh, they're getting, they'll definitely need water tomorrow. And uh, looks like we're gonna, we're at the point now where we can start making them some food. So we can do the base dairy mix. That means we're gonna have to do a little bit of a yard cleanup tomorrow and uh, run around 
Uh, how's our whoops? How's our silage going? Bale grass silage. Okay, that's good to go. And how's our whole crop doing? 48%. Okay, so the, it ferments faster in bales than it does in the bunker. That's interesting. Okay. Well, we'll... Uh, we're going to call this a victory. Uh, so we're going to... Yep. Yeah, we're going to call this a victory. This is a good place to end the episode. We did super well rolling out that field. Tomorrow we're going to get up and look after the cows and and then in the meantime we've got to uh still got to lime that field and fertilize that field maybe we'll play with the uh we'll play with the sprayer i think that'll be interesting so uh thanks for watching and uh we'll catch you on the next one have a good one